Hi again, uh, here we are to continue with our sketch to HTML and CSS example. And uh, in the last video, I, I set up this HTML here. Why don't we add the rest of the HTML tags? So we'll need the doc type, and then we'll need the HTML tag. And this closes here, but what I'll do is I'll move that um, closing tag all the way to the bottom. And then we'll need the um, the head tag, right? And then in here, we'll need the title tag. And then all of the HTML that we wrote earlier will go inside the body. So I'll add the body tag. And then this included the closing tag here, but we're going to move that to the bottom before the HTML tag ends. So here's our document there, right? We've got, this is all the HTML we've written and it's all inside the body tag. And then we have the head tag up here that has, you know, kind of meta information for the document, um, including a style sheet. Why don't we make a style sheet? So I'll save all that. I'll make a new file. I'm gonna save this into the folder where I'm currently working and I'll call it style.css. And um, then we'll link this style sheet to our document. So I'll start here in the head tag and I'll include a link and I'll set it to rel style sheet and href of style.css. Okay, so now our style sheet will link to this document. Okay, so uh, what are we gonna do? First things first. Um, Let's get the gradient. I have a subtle gradient here in the background of my document. I actually have a, a rectangle here on the background that has a gradient fill on it that I did in Sketch here. And so what I'll do is I'll right click on that element and choose Copy CSS Attributes. And then we'll go to, uh, to brackets here and I'll go to my style sheet. And let's say that's going to go on the body tag because the body kind of fills the entire page. So let's put it here. And then I'll paste the style. And you can see um, this is what, um, this is the, oops. This is the code that, um, that, uh, um, that uh, bracket or, sketch created for me. Sorry, I was trying to format that right. Okay, there we go, right? So that's the code that that sketch created for me. And, um, you know, it created a, a linear gradient for WebKit, so that should cover Chrome and, and Safari. Here's an Opera version, and then this is a linear gradient that should work on all the other browsers, right? Let's save that and open up our document. Actually, you can see I kind of like brackets. It gives you a little preview there of the color gradient and we can see it kind of looks like the one we had in sketch so it's probably going to work right let's take a quick look so we'll um we'll go to the browser here i'll open this up in my browser hmm not quite working right we have a little bit of work to do let's move this over here like this right so the gradient um one it's repeating down the page and two the height of the body tag is really only extending from here to here. Okay, so normally the body doesn't fill the entire height of the document. It just is as tall as its content. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our, um, our body tag here and we'll include a couple extra options. We'll say um, height 100%. And really, this only makes the body tag now as high, as tall as the HTML tag. So what we'll do is we'll also say, you know what, why don't we apply these styles also to the HTML tag? So if the HTML tag is 100% height and the body is 100% height, then they fill the entire window, okay? So let's do that, and then we'll go back to our browser and refresh. And there we've got our gradient that goes all the way top to bottom, right? And then we can worry about styling these these form elements in a bit, right? Okay, so uh, so how to get started on that? So um, remember our form elements, um, they all have a class name. So I gave them class input email, um, input password, 
and then the, the submit button is input submit, but um, this one looks different. So if we were to um, look at it over here, you can see this has a green, it's kind of a green button, and then these kind of have a uh, kind of a transparent white outline around them, right? So what we'll do is we'll create a class that will create this look, and then another class for this one, okay? So um, since we're since the two inputs look the same, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just make a a class name for input here, right? We'll give them a second class name so we can style the input email individually, and then we can also style input for both the input password and the input email, right? So they can share a class name. And we'll go to our style sheet, and then we can say dot input, and then we'll get the style maybe from Sketch again. Okay, so uh, we got a, we got a little bit of work, a little bit of extra styles to add, but this should get us started. So I'm gonna um, right click on this guy and choose uh, copy CSS attributes. Now I actually have a group here, so it may get all the styles for both of these elements, um, you know, which maybe is okay because I, I maybe I do want this the the style for the text and the style for the box, right? So, but but just keep in mind, if you have a group and you're copying the styles, you're getting the styles for all the things in the group. So I'll choose Copy CSS Attributes, and then we'll go back here and we'll paste them, and then we'll see what it gave us, right? Sometimes you have to modify these, but usually it's pretty good. Um, I'm using SF Text, which is the font on the iPhone, and we may not have that everywhere, so we probably should switch this to some font that um, that we're, we know we're going to have. I'll just switch it to Helvetica for now, and maybe we can modify that font later, okay? And then we've got border radius, 100 pixels. Um, that might, this number might not quite be right, you know, but uh, um, it seems a little large. Let's give it a try and see what it looks like, right? So we'll hide that. We'll go back to... Um, our document there. Oh, well, that's not looking too bad. It's maybe not quite tall enough, right? So we probably have to include some padding here. Um, but anyway, that, that should get you started, right? So we can copy the styles here from Sketch. All I'm doing is I'm, I'm control clicking or right clicking on the element and choosing copy CSS attributes. Okay. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that gets you started and then we'll, we'll continue this in the next video.